Today, it's wooden toys and the high value some of them can go for. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some wooden toys. Something many people pass up because they do not believe that some wood toys hold a good value. Let's look at some right now and show you what we are talking about. So with wooden toys, there's some very obvious ones that will be worth some money, even not in so great condition. This one is a Bliss wooden train. It was from the World's Fair in 1893 in Chicago. You could have purchased it at the fair. It's similar to some of the lines that would have been running back in that time frame again in 1893. It's a very interesting lot here. Something you don't run into very often. The condition, though, as you can see, has some issues. The smokestacks look like they could even be new or uh, had all the paint paper missing from it. These sorts of items, as I said, don't turn up very often, but if they do, they do sell for some good money. Considering the condition, the wear, it's not complete or anything else like that. No motors, nothing. It's just basically blocks of wood with paper labels. It's sold for $500. Now, Jack and Jill has been around for a very long time. It's from Mother Goose, for those who aren't aware of its origin. Now, this is a Reed brand set. It's a tender, basically what we just saw. Now, this one has similar construction to the last one. Doesn't quite look to be as well made, but still, basics are the same wood with paper lithos on them. Again, not in very good condition. Does have quite a few issues. They're still intact. They're still there. $863. Now, these first few here are probably the rarest, but as we go along here, you're going to see some that you will run into. Now, if you wait to the very end, we're going to show you some of the most expensive modern-day wooden toys that you can find right now that's missed by many people. So stick around to the end, and you'll see something that you can find right now out in the wild. Just another example of what you might run into. This is a horse-drawn trolley car set. As you can see, the horses are there in the front. It's in pieces. It's got some issues, obviously. Even in this condition, it went for almost $1,100. Now, of course, this is very scarce. It's another Bliss set like the first ones we saw. This is the Bowery and Central Park, Jackson Park Railroad trolley cars. Back before electricity, obviously, they did use horses to pull some of the trolleys back in those days. They still ran on tracks, though, in some cases. Kind of like the old mule runs or the canal boats that used a mule to tow it along the line there. So same basic principle here. This is pretty unique, very interesting piece, something that even in this condition, even rougher than this, would have still sold for hundreds of dollars. Now here's another Bliss piece, but this one here is specific. It's a Noah's Ark. Most of the early wooden Noah's Arks do go for some good money. This one went for over a thousand US dollars sold in England. Now Bliss was a big company, so they do show up overseas, not just here in America as well. So keep that in mind. Some of these would have come with little wooden animals. Whether you could put them inside of it or not didn't really matter. They were play sets basically to some extent. Now once we pass into the 20th century, many companies that you've heard of made wooden toys at some point. This is a Buddy L wooden 30-inch shell gasoline semi-tanker truck. Now, why would they have made a wooden one? Well, this is from the World War II era, and all metal at that time was pretty much steered towards production for the war effort. So some companies, in an effort to continue making stuff, would make them out of wood. So you will see some rare, interesting pieces like this. Now, $411, not super, super expensive, but still a very nice piece. One thing on these two, they're very easy to repair. You can fill putty and all sorts of things because they are painted and made of wood. So you got to be a little careful, but on that same side, even not in so great condition, you can still get some decent money out of them. Now, this is a Duesenberg. Very, very nice, stylish car. It's made out of wood. Now, this one, as the seller says, does look to be a show room sample or something along that line. Now the interior and such forth are made with cloth and real material. It actually has glass pane windows in here. 
very, very unique model. I am really surprised that it only went for $400, though. Now, here's an oddball company, Gong Bell Toys. This is probably from the 30s, as they say. It's a pull toy. Most of the time, the decals were worn off on these. Still a very nice one for $450. Now, some toys made out of wood are made by craftsmen, even still to this day. This one looks to be a little older one, but still, it's very, very well detailed. It takes quite a bit to orchestrate the construction of something like this out of wood, out of different pieces, when you've got to mill them down and pretty much make sure they all fit and match together, even with the finish on them also. 250 bucks is a little cheap in my opinion, but still a very nice piece of art, craftsmanship, toy, whatever you may want to call it. Now here's more a modern day, still vintage, but this is Community Playthings. Now it's marked in many places and it may not look like much to many people. Here's the marking you're actually looking for, but you can see the price. These were made to stand up to pretty much rough and tumble kids very well constructed, very sturdy, solid wood. These things are very, very well made. So hence the price you see here, plus shipping. Now Fisher Price as well, made wooden toys during World War II. Perfect example of a DC-3, which flew soldiers in some cases, as well as mail and other things along that line. $795. They made some very well-made toys for this time frame. Fisher Price has been around for a very long time. They are well known for their wooden toys just like this piece here. Something you may not have seen before. $795. Now this one here is very interesting and many people may miss or may not understand what this is. This is made by Lego. The same original company who made the plastic Lego blocks, they made wooden toys at one time, quite a few of them. The most common wooden toy by Lego you will run into are alphabet blocks. I've run into them many different times, got some here right now. This is an interesting one, value-wise, because of the company, because it's made out of wood, something you don't see, mostly sold overseas, these sorts of items. The blocks, though, are sold all over the place, $374. Now, here's another Lego piece from the 50s, $399. A Lego little rooster here, very interesting, unique piece here. I think they actually made a modern-day version of this that was released at a toy fair. It looks much different than this, but still the same basic piece here there's the Lego logo you can see still on some of the very early plastic Lego blocks and here is one of the sets of the Lego wooden blocks nice addition to someone's collection who is into Legos that much almost $400 they're just like standard alphabet blocks let's see there you go you can see them very easily there now, you can't talk about wooden toys without talking about Schoenhut. They made a ton of wooden figures, big sets, musical bands, entire huge massive circuses with tents and all the animals in small scale for those wealthy folks back in the Victorian era. They continued making these for a very long time. Very intricate, very well detailed. Much of it was made out of wood, metal and other things along that line. 415 dollars for this one now this one isn't super rare i could do a whole video just on show and hut and still not even cover most of the basics it's a massive assortment of different toys from those time frames just to give you a little touch on some of the show and hut here's a figure from one of the sets as well this one's marked from the circus set biggest thing to know on these is the earlier ones the better ones have glass eyes so this one's 405 dollars all wooden they have wooden joints in the whole works painted very well done very unique item here here again is another piece here this is a cat a tabby cat not in the best condition lots of paint loss as you can see it's kind of folk art almost as well four hundred and eighty one dollars for this one now they also have character figures from the 20s 30s 40s I've shown some other ones in other videos such as the wooden 1940s Superman figure they did Disney ones also Pinocchio Jiminy the Cricket here four hundred dollars for the set it's actually a little cheap in my opinion these might have done better selling them individually now here's a very interesting one this is a small wooden bullet it's just one they've actually shown you all of the design work on the paper wrapper that went on this 
Very unique items, something you just won't find. These will be lost almost all the time. Even if they're lost and then found, most of the time the paper's gone or they're damaged in some cases. Again, this is around the time frame of World War II, just a hair after it. $660 for one single wooden bullet. Now, as I said earlier in the video, here is the most expensive modern day wooden toy that I know of right here. And this is from Thomas the Tank Engine set. Very interesting. White face, troublesome truck. This is the Holy Grail. I believe this is from Shining Time, which was a movie, if I'm not mistaken, back in the day. Our kids did have a bunch of Thomas. These show up in big lots of them also. So you may miss this. You can see the price on here, $900. And before you say, hey, that's just a one-off, you're not going to see those, or they never go for that kind of money. That is high, but they do still sell for hundreds of dollars almost every time. I do believe all of these were put up as a bin, and they sold for the opening bin. So if you put them up higher, they do sell for more money. The exact same one here. Here's another one, $560. Now, this one had bids on it. It's not in the greatest condition. It has some wear to the top, well played with pretty much paint loss all over. So a mint condition one of these, the $900 is probably a fair and accurate price. As you can see with the amount of bids and the prices. These are all over, but if you put them up low, they're going to sell low. $475 opening bid. You put this up for more money, you probably would have gotten more money out of these. So if you find one of these, you've got hundreds of dollars in there. So every time you run into the Brio Thomas Tank Engine lots, always look up every single vehicle if you don't know the value on them. And the last one here is probably the second most expensive modern day wooden toy. This is the Scotsman, the Flying Scotsman from again, Thomas the Tank Engine. I've had a couple of these, the engine once, a couple times the engine in one of the coal tenders, and then the whole set as well. They do still show up. They do show up in big bunches. We were lucky enough to buy a whole bunch of Thomas, and just the few cars here from the Flying Scotsman paid for the whole lot. So this stuff is still out there. These are the modern-day wooden toys that you want to look for. There's others as well, too, that you need to keep an eye on, but this one's one of the more common ones that you still can run into. Well, there we are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends Tracy, solving a crime with real police crime stopper clues and amazing scientific tools like the Dick Tracy magic decoder. Now you can decode Dick Tracy's secret crime stopper clues and get your own free Dick Tracy magic decoder with every box of these famous Post cereals. Post Sugar Crisp, Post Raisin Bran, and Post Sugar Rice Crinkles. It's exciting. Only with a magic decoder can you solve the set of four Crime Stopper clues on the back of each package. They tell you real police secrets. There are six different sets of Crime Stoppers to collect, 24 clues altogether. Use your decoder to make up coded messages too. Trade secrets with your friends. Get your free Dick Tracy magic decoder right away. There's one inside these special packages of Post Sugar Crisp, Post Raisin Bran, and Post Sugar Rice Crinkles.